What's going on guys? It's Lee. Thanks for watching Hang With Lee TV. I am Lee, of course. Today I'm going to talk about how to budget after moving out. It seems that a lot of people don't know exactly what they're getting into when they decide to move out. I realize that to live on your own without struggling, <laughs> you're going to have to learn how to budget. And so that's pretty much what I did. Um, and I'm just going to share some of the things that I've done to help me when I moved out and hopefully it's going to help you guys too. I'm going to show you guys how to keep a budget with room for saving and a little fun because we all know we like to have a little fun from time to time. Before we get started, do me a favor. Grab a notepad, a spiral notebook, a scrap piece of paper, something before we get started. As some of you guys, when I'm done with this, you're gonna have some tears in your eyes. All right, so at the top of your paper, write down the amount of money that you take home after taxes every month. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna split up your expenses into two categories. The first category is gonna be fixed expenses. The second category is gonna be variable expenses. Fixed expenses are pretty much the same every month and cannot be easily changed. So there are gonna be some things that are gonna go under this category that you're gonna write down. All right, so it's gonna be your rent or mortgage, your car note, your cell phone bill, student loans, car insurance, and your internet and cable bill. In the next section, you're gonna have variable expenses. Variable expenses are expenses that vary every month. So that means that every month they can be different amounts. So this is going to include credit card payments, your water, gas, and electric bill, groceries, clothing and personal items, and entertainment. That's going to include dates, eating out, concerts, games, things like that. Now that you've written down all of these different categories, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and fill each one in with the respective expense. Now some of these things you may have to estimate on. So for instance, your water, gas, and electric bill, you may have to average up some of those bills or guesstimate how much your bill typically is. And like I said, it's always better to overestimate than to underestimate. Always round up. Great, now add up all of your expenses. Don't leave anything out. It's always better to be safe than sorry. After you've added up all of your expenses, deduct that amount from your monthly income. All right, okay. Now look at that number closely, closer still. Are your eyes watering yet? <laughs> okay, so as long as you were honest and didn't leave anything out like a jerk, everything should be pretty accurate. And your number could be negative. No! This number represents your total monthly expenses. And I'm going to guess that if you're not in tears, you probably have a positive number, which is a good thing. So be happy that the number is still positive. And if you're in tears right now, well, we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> All right, it's, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. All right, now I said I was gonna talk about savings, right? Now on the first go around after making your budget, you may be wondering where in the world am I gonna be able to save any money whatsoever? There's room for saving. Now, if you have a certain amount of money that you want to save every month or you need to save every month, for instance, if you plan on going on a trip later in the year or you know you need to purchase a new car because the one you have, it sucks and it's about to die, then you know that you have to save a certain amount of money every single month to get to the goal amount that you need to save. Or you could have this money set aside for investments, purchasing a home, or some other reason. You always wanna be able to save money every single month. So what you wanna do is you need to determine how much money you want to save every single month. What you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to go back to your budget and figure out where you can save money. It could be something simple. It could be something drastic that you're gonna to have to do. It really depends on your situation and it's all gonna be unique to you. So take a very, very close look and be realistic and honest, like I said, with yourself and think about the things that you really need to have right now and the things that maybe can wait a little later or some things that you can do without because there's always gonna be some things that we can do without. Now, creating a budget is that simple, but the key is sticking to it and using self-discipline. Stick to this budget at all costs. I won't lie, it's not gonna be easy starting off. I'm gonna be honest about that, but you can do it. Okay, I'm gonna warn you. Your friends and your family will not understand. They're not gonna understand what the hell you are doing. They're not gonna understand a damn thing that you're doing. And you know what, they don't have to. And if your friends are always talking about how broke they are and how they're behind in bills, and oh my God, I need some money, blah, blah, blah. You probably shouldn't be listening to them. You probably should just listen to me and you'll be okay. Listen to me and you'll be good. Don't 
worry about anything that they have to say. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna give you a little sample about some of the things they're gonna say. They're gonna call you cheap. Yes, <laughs> they're gonna call you cheap. They're gonna give you a hard time every time you see them. Sometimes they're gonna ask you to borrow money and then they're gonna have the nerve, the nerve to have a birthday. A birthday where they invite you to an expensive, fancy dinner out to your favorite place with the most delicious food that you've ever had in your life. Yes, it's gonna happen. But you need to be able to say no. I'm not saying that being on a budget means that you don't have fun. But the way that you have fun and the things that you do to have fun may change a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so for those of you guys that are in tears, either you've dried them now or they're still flowing. Now, if you're in a deficit, you're doing what I call bleeding money. You're in a deficit. That's not good if you haven't figured that out. So if you have not moved out yet, if you have not made the move, what you need to do is you need to pull yourself up to an acceptable level first before moving out. Now, if you've already out there on your own and things like that, you need to put a stop to this very quickly. There are some things in your budget that you can control, so I'm gonna go through those things so that you can kind of see you know, where you might need to make some changes. When it comes down to your cell phone bill, you may have to downgrade your cell phone. Downgrade it all the way. I don't care if you have a flip phone, downgrade it as much as possible. If you need to, eliminate it altogether. Completely get rid of your cell phone. That sounds ridiculous, I know. You're like, I need my cell phone. What about my Facebook and Instagram? You don't need that. You have bigger problems than Instagram right now. So get rid of it if you have to, or downgrade. When it comes down to your groceries, you can save a ton of money. Don't purchase junk food. Don't purchase snacks. And here's a pro tip of the year. Generic brands are not your worst enemy. When it comes down to your water, gas, and electric, you have control over that. Stop taking 30 minute showers, thinking about your life, playing your favorite song, singing to Beyonce. Stop doing that. You're wasting money. Make sure, you know, turn down your heat at night. You know, leave it at a comfortable level, a reasonable level, so that you don't have to worry about, you know, spending too much on your gas bill. And when it comes down to electricity, turn your freaking lights off. Stop turning your lights on and then going to work all day. Stop doing that. Now, when it comes down to clothing and personal items and things like that, keep those things down to a minimum. People are always like, ooh, I like that. I'm gonna, I gotta have it. Ooh, that's so cute. Oh, oh, those shoes just came out. I'm gonna go grab those. Like, no, stop doing that. Now, here's another pro tip. Be smart. Don't buy things that you don't need, like new TVs, new cars, new shoes, purses. Yes, ladies, purses. It's not about whether or not you can afford it. It's about whether or not it's gonna get you to where you want to be or where you need to be. Don't let your friends borrow money. I know a lot of you guys are like, well, what if my friend really needs it? Don't let your friends borrow money, period. You usually won't get it back and it'll probably put a strain on your relationship. Now that might sound really harsh, but what I'm saying is very true. Do not be wasteful. Take your lunch to work every day, cook all of your meals at home, and eat out as little as possible. That's gonna save you guys big bucks. I hope this video helps you guys out there get off to a great start and at the very least improve your current situation. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll definitely go ahead and reply to those comments and see if I can help out with any questions that you might have. If you like this video and you found it helpful, go ahead and click like right now. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead, click subscribe, click it right now. I'm gonna be back next week. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna have videos on Wednesdays or Thursdays. I'm not really sure yet. But I will let you guys know next week what day I'm going to have videos every single week. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys next week. At the beginning of the year, I always see like a ton of people that have never, I've never seen, I've never seen you and you're here today.